Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you and walk you through connecting a iPad onto a computer so that you can do a screen recording using your iPad. And I just figured out how to do this. I'm using Camtasia 3. I'll link that up down below in the description, but I'm gonna walk you through, so follow along. Okay, so I have a MacBook Pro here and I've got it plugged in right here with one of the lightning ports onto the uh, iPad. And this is an iPad Air 4, I believe. And what I did was I made sure that everything is connected, it's powered on, you can see that it's charging. And what you'll do here is I'm gonna switch over to the computer now to show you that. Okay, so it didn't work out that well on the computer because I couldn't show you the buttons I was hitting. So on top bar here, you go to file, you go to new recording, and when this pops up, you'll see color LCD is selected and I'll go to the device that I have, the iPad 3. And you'll see here, this should change in just a second. And you'll see there, so that is the actual iPad screen. And you'll notice uh, if I draw on here, where's the screen? It's hard to do when I'm holding this. So you'll see I'm just drawing a bunch of squigglies and stuff, right? And you'll see that it's up there. And what you'll do is all you gotta do is hit start recording. And it'll say waiting, three, two, one. And it'll switch over and it'll start recording the screen. And that's what I'm doing here, see? screen and once it's done all you gotta do is click on stop recording and that'll take it over to the Camtasia and what you'll notice here is I'm actually inside of the area that uh, you saw earlier in the video so you can see that I'm actually making this using the screen recording on the MacBook and this was the last part here the showed you kind of the walkthrough and you'll see here there's this particular area that is the recording from the screen. So it should show me, and this will, you know, be what you are drawing on the actual recording. And what you can do is make it a little bit bigger and stuff. And this was just uh, Good Notes was the app that I was using. So it has these lines that just, you know, they're just kind of plain lines. So you can play around with this to make sure that everything works out a little bit better. And, you know, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'll list the stats of the computer and the iPad in the description. If you're curious, it might not work for every single iPad. It might not work for every single MacBook. Uh, so keep that in mind if you have those questions. I might not be able to answer them, but maybe I can find uh, the answer for you. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.